My name is Bruce Brigham. Um, I'm a pinball fan and I spend quite a bit of time restoring the older machines, mainly from the 50s and 60s. Um, my background is in the graphic arts, so I've got a real appreciation for the art on the machines, especially the older ones. Um, I've, I also have some training in the fine arts, so I kind of take a combined, um, my combined skill sets and I do reproduce some of the back glasses on the machines, mechanically get them running and then um, use paint and brush to touch up the play fields wherever it needs to be done. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time, um, the past three or four years since I bought this big empty building I <laughs> tended to fill it up with old machines and it's gotten a little out of control but I enjoy every moment of it. When I was a kid, my, uh, my dad uh, was actually in the business when these were still out on location and he worked for um, uh, distributors and he was a salesman, so he used to sell these brand new. So generally the, the games from the 1950s, are, um, the survival rate on them is about 5%, so if they made if, if an average run of a thousand games, there's an estimated maybe 50 of that title still kicking around. These games, when you tend to get them, they're in pretty rough shape, they've been neglected, they haven't been played in many years, they're really dirty. So basically the process is um, to mechanically get them running and replace any parts that need to be done. And then uh, the next big step is a cosmetic. Um, this one here I actually produced the back glass for because uh, the back glass was completely shot. So I, I redrew the art and made a new glass, finished off the cosmetic work and then, I mean you can generally put about 30 or 40 hours if not more into getting one of these games from a, a sorry state to kind of bring it back up to what it was. But I think because of the rarity of these now, to me it's worth putting the time into. Well, I bought this old church uh, four years ago. Uh, it was built in 1904 and um, wasn't really sure why I bought it or what I was gonna do with it, but I've obviously found a use for it. So we, we, we have a little bit of a collectible store here, but it's mainly for uh, like a showroom and a, a place for people to come and look and play the games. But it, it's a very serene spot and it, it's, uh, I think the old games fit very well um, in the building. And it's kind of interesting because I thought, you know, when the people were actually in here for their church service, I bet they never thought it would be full of pinball machines and there'd be a guy in here playing pinball. So it'd probably raise a few eyebrows to some of the older, uh, the older congregation that used to come here. But it's a nice space, it's got a good feeling to it, and it's a good place to work.